Souls Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and in this video I'm going to be doing a quick overview of the latest wave of vintage collection figures which I managed to pick up today. I want to say a huge thank you to my buddy and Patreon supporter Josh B for enabling me to get these. He was very very kind enough to uh, sell me a set of these. These arrived from Entertainment Earth in the US so thank you so much Josh. They got here in record time so I really do appreciate that. And I just want to talk about sort of like the case assortment and things like that as well as just take a quick look at each figure and then of course I'll be doing detailed reviews of each figure in upcoming videos on the channel. So first up the uh, figure that was carried forward from the previous wave was Cal Kestis which is a, a bit of a strange one. He was only packed one per case in the previous wave so maybe that's why they thought they would you know put him forward into this wave as well. Um, but yeah, he's VC265, so although this is a really, really good figure, not too exciting because we've pretty much seen it already. Um, over on the left here, we have Admiral Piet, which is uh, one of the two that I'm excited about the most. Um, 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi there. VC270. And um, yeah, it's a real shame that I didn't get this one in time for Star Wars Celebration because... The actor um, was at the gig that I went to and he was actually signing stuff. So that would have been a great opportunity, but unfortunately I didn't get it in time. But happy to have him now anyway and to review him on a future video. So that's Admiral Piet. You know, I've got a lot to say about all of these figures, but I will say those in the actual videos when it comes to them, especially this one, the uh, Clone Trooper Phase 2. Um, on the face of it, it looks like a really, really good figure, great update, but I will be doing comparisons against previous clone troopers that we have. Um, in the bubble there, he looks fantastic. This card back really reminds me of um, the Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper Tri-Logo card from back in the uh, early 80s, because that had a yellow name pill, and obviously it's like white Stormtrooper and what have you, with the helmet separate there. I don't know, it just kind of just reminds me of... Of, of that Luke Skywalker figure from back in the day. Uh, VC269, that one. And as I say, you know, I've got a lot to say about them when I review him. Just move Bosk out the way. And we now have Hunter from the Bad Batch. So what you'll notice here is that there's quite a few different entertainments going on in this wave. Uh, this is the first figure that we've had from the Bad Batch in terms of the actual crew. And yeah, once again, I've got quite a lot to say about this figure as well. Very animated style. You can see his really thin waist there, but it does look a really, really good figure. Now, this one actually came two packed in the case assortment. My son already has the other one. Um, and he is VC268. So yeah, this case assortment in the UK, we don't really get case assortments. We get solid cases of one figure. But in the US, you know, one of the big box retailers would probably order case assortments. And I can see some peg warming going on because you also get two Andors as well. Cassian Andor Aldani mission. He looks a great figure, apart from the boots, of course. We all know the issues surrounding the boots. But in terms of the head sculpt and the bodywork and everything on him, he looks he looks fantastic. On the Andor card, that's the second Andor one because obviously the clone troopers from Andor as well. VC 267. Yeah, so he came two packed and so did Hunter. But I don't know about you, if I was a retailer, I think I'd probably want more of this guy on the pegs than say this guy. You know, I think it would have been better to have at least two of this guy in the case assortment and maybe just one of him and even, maybe even three of him. It's the army builder figure, maybe just one Hunter or something, I don't know. And finally, we have Starkiller Vader's Apprentice. This is a repack VC100, but obviously it's on a new, new thicker cardstock and all that. Um, same card back image. The figure layout is ever so slightly different the, than the original. So if you're a variant hunter, then you're going to want to pick this one up. If you don't have him loose, you'll probably want to pick him up as well. I don't actually think I do have Starkiller loose, actually. So this is another good one for me. This one was, uh, you know, one in the in the assortment. Just the one of uh, Starkiller. And yeah, VC100. So that's like a quick overview of all of the figures. As I say, you get two Hunters, two Cassians, one Clone Trooper, one Admiral Piet, one Starkiller, and one Cal Kestis. So a bit of a strange wave. You've got Return of the Jedi, two Andor, a Bad Batch, an Expanded Universe, and 
another expanded universe, basically two computer game characters there. So a bit of a strange wave. Um, the ones that I'm really looking forward to the most reviewing are definitely these four, I guess. I think I'm gonna have a lot to say, as I said, about this guy in particular, the size of the hat for this guy. And uh, yeah, we already know about his boots. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And let me know down below which one you would like to see reviewed first. I have an idea of which one I wanna do. Um, the reviews will probably be going out early to my Patreon supporters and channel members to check those out early. But over the next couple of days, you'll see reviews for each one of these figures drop on the channel. So please tune in to those. But I want to thank you for watching this video. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. And a big thank you once again to Josh B for enabling me to have these in hand. I do believe that the UK is actually getting this wave. Uh, towards the end of next week now, but it's great to have them early get the reviews onto the channel and uh, Yeah, so let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching and we shall see you on the next one